Hi guys, it's Morgan here. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how I go about figuring out, um, one, if your graphics card is being recognized by The Sims 3, and two, how you fix that if it is not. Um, my great friend Annie asked me to look at her file, so I figured I would just record something while I'm looking at hers so that you guys can try it. So the first thing you need to do is you need, there's three files you'll need. The first is the device config log, which you can find in your Electronic Arts Sims 3 file folder. It's this one here. You might need to go to view file name extensions here. So yours might just say device config. Um, I guess it's I suppose it doesn't really matter, but that's if the log part is missing, that's why. And you can open it up. You might need to do an open with, and you'll want to select like a notepad-like program. And so once you do that, um, you'll want to scroll down, and it you're looking for this line here, name, database, um, and it will name your graphics card and what you want it to say is found one matched one that means your graphics card is recognized you're good to go um, if it doesn't say that I'm going to show you how to fix that so um, I'm going to pull up Annie's graph or device config log so if I scroll down to hers you'll see hers is a found zero matched one usually it's either found one match zero or both zeros so I'm not really sure what's going on here but um, nonetheless we're gonna take a look at hers um, you can just leave this open the other two things you're gonna need is the graphics card and graphics rules those are located in a different location so you wanna navigate to the hard drive you installed your sims on um, you might have one or two I have two but Sims is in this one, um, Electronic Arts, Sims 3. <laughs> Annie's uh, messaging me up a storm right now. She's probably like, why aren't you answering me back? Um, you want to go into, so Electronic Arts, Sims 3, Game, Bin, and this is where these two files are, the graphics cards and graphics rules. So we're going to start with graphics cards, but I'm going to pull up Annie's. So I'm going to put it on this side and the device config log here. So this graphics device info, this portion here is what we're interested in. Um, so I know that the driver or the database or I don't even know, I'm not good with terms, but the NVIDIA GeForce, that's the important part because you'll notice that it starts with the Radeon and the vendor's ATI. Where does it say her vendor is NVIDIA? So we want to scroll down at least to where the vendor is NVIDIA, which will be a little ways because they're listing out all the Radeon, Radeon graphics cards. So here we have vendor NVIDIA. And it does, I don't think it really matters where you put it, but you kind of want to put it next to one that's similar. So hers is a 740M, so I'm going to put it underneath the 640M. And you just enter, and of course you probably, this isn't her original one because she sent it to me, you'll probably want to do a file save as somewhere so you're not editing the, the like real one or have like a backup somewhere. Um, so card, this is always the part I'm not sure about. So I will put a link to this um, tutorial thing in the description. Um, okay, so it's the numbers I'm never sure about. So 6819 is the device, okay. So we want the device number, which is 1292 for hers, to be this 1292. And we want GeForce GT. And then I'm just taking this name here and putting it here. So 740M. 
and close it. And that's all you have to do. So this is just looking up and it's gonna, I guess, find and recognize. So this is, this is how we get it to say found one right here. So I would think with hers, this might be enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to find the matched part as well, especially since that's the more complicated part. And then if you notice, it just goes through and lists out other graphics cards. And then we have the Intel graphics cards that you would list if your vendor was that. So I'm going to do File, Save. Again, you could do Save As and do Dash Edited or whatever you need to do there. So that's all I need for that one. And then again, you would open up now your graphics rules, but I'm gonna grab her graphics rules. Open this up over here. Okay, so I'm <laughs> gonna do my best to, I took a like computer programming class thing when I was in school. Um, so I have, not that it was this language, but it's similar, the logic statement. So you'll notice that it says if basically the graphics card is not found it's gonna name it something else which I think is what is happening with Annie's and then it does some other stuff but then there's it sets these different things here um, that are kind of presets so when you open up your games and you hit the I don't know reset default it'll set it to one of these and so I mean the tutorial here talks about finding one that's similar for me I just kind of go okay well what does what can my computer handle like is it gonna handle it best on high or uber and that's kind of where I'm gonna decide to put this next part um, as you go down it's trying to find the um, the vendor or it's calling it the CPU though but um, and that one should be fine. It's going to find that the vendor is NVIDIA. And it's, again, here's the kind of the, the levels and what that's going to do. Um, I think if you have, I saw something about if you have a, uh, which one was it? Radeon maybe I don't know there's one of them you might have to do something here but you can always try it out before that and see but because I think I saw something somewhere that one of them automatically just based on the like vendor it'll set it to something different so you could try to mess around with this code here to change that um, but what you're looking here is this part it says if it's matched your card vendor to NVIDIA or if you scroll down if it's matched it to ATI or if it's matched it to this is a huge file by the way I don't know somewhere it goes through and it matches the different um, types there's gonna be a section for the um, I guess maybe it is ATI but anyway for her since it's NVIDIA this is where I'm looking at and You'll, what I look for is what I would want it to set it to. So you'll notice this first bit is setting it to the level medium. I'm going to assume Annie wants it on Uber, so I'm going to edit this bit of text here where it sets it to Uber so that it recognizes her graphics card in that. Um, or you could also do hi. Um, there's another, I forgot to pull it up, but there's another thing that you can kind of look at based on kind of, I uh, can't think of, hierarchy of the different graphics cards. And so you can also look for one that's named here and figure out where yours should be. Um, but I'm just going to look for something similar. So again, I'm looking in this bit of text here for something similar to the 740. And this one was saying it was found, so there might already be something here, but I'm going to try to find where I would put it and or kind of talk you through what you would do. 
Ah, uh, nope. GT4, GTX5. Hers is a 7, so... Am I getting close? I bet hers is the very last one here. Nope. GT... How is it? Oh, unless hers is down here. Let me look through the high. Sorry this is going to turn into a long video. Oh yeah. So hers is automatically setting it at high. So I probably won't put hers on Uber unless she gets back to me and tells me she wants it there. But um, So you'll notice hers is a 740M. So this is matching that here. Um, I believe the star here represent there might be something before it there might be something after it so it's not looking for the GeForce GTX or any of this stuff it's looking for what's gonna start with a 7 the question mark is I think like a wild card so it could be a 740 a 730 a 760 a 780 whatever and it'll match it up there followed by a 0 and then the M and so if it matches that, it's going to set the default to a high level of graphics. Now, I don't think, I honestly don't think it would necessarily benefit you to try to put it in the Uber because you can just go in game and set it to whatever you want. This is just kind of where it default sets it, um, but it should recognize and run smoother because it recognizes it. Um, so I don't actually have to do anything with hers. Um, so I'm not going, I, mean, I won't save it, but if you needed to add something, especially maybe you need it in Uber or something, what you would do is you would just, it doesn't again really matter where you put it as long as it's in this one before it says Uber or if you're setting it to high in this lit bit of text before it says hi you're just gonna take where it starts with or matched card name blah 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 you would copy it and then paste it and so here's my pasted part and then you don't have to do the question mark stuff if you don't want to because you know exactly what yours is and you don't need it to be more I guess uh, flexible but you would just type it in so for hers I could do 740m and it would recognize it. of course hers is already down here so I'm not gonna save this again but pretty simple you just type in what you need it to say and again the stars are important because um, it's probably also looking at the GT and this just tells that you can ignore the GT part the stars saying there's more before this um, again, the question marks are like a wild card, so if you did that, it says it can be anything in the 700 level, as long as it ends in a 0 and an M. And then you would save that. Um, you want to go through after, I'm going to again not save that, you'll want to go through in your documents, electronic arts, sims 3, delete all these caches probably even user presets I would assume um, that's usually the one I don't um, there's some other ones it talks about deleting down in this I'll, again I'll link this in the description um, yeah here's some different things you can delete to see if it um, to either give it a fresh clean or if after you start it but you'll start up your game you'll want to hit the restore defaults button on this thing and you'll be hoping that it you know pops out you'll see this was before it was everything on the lowest setting here it brings it up um, then the other thing you'll want to go back through after you know you can save and quit or whatever it should re um, let's see where is it yeah, it's in here. Once um, you load up your game, it should reset this and or you can delete this file before you start it up and it'll regenerate it and you'll open it up and again you're looking for it to say found one, matched one and then you know that you've succeeded. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. It's kind of messy. Um, 
I do ask, please don't come at me with a bunch of questions, even though I made this tutorial. I don't know very much. I'm just trying to make this tutorial that has way more information, way more, I guess, official and knows what it's doing, a little bit more user friendly. I don't know this information. I literally just followed this and have done it enough. I kind of have figured it out. So I don't know anything outside of this. So again, please don't come at me with a bunch of question, techie questions because I, I just don't know. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a lovely day.